Mic test. Mic test. <clears throat> Mic test. One, two. Hello. Sound of mic test. There we are. Is this thing working? Any sound? Anything doing here? Hello? I think my speakers are turned off. Hello? Well, that's better. A little sound issue, so we'll fix that now. Testing. Sound, sound. There is no sound. <clears throat> no sound. This is why I prefer streaming from consoles, even though I prefer Steam, obviously, over consoles. Seems to be a pain. Hello. Hello, Sam. Hello, Sam. Hello, Sam. Sorry, guys. No sound at all. Gotta go. Soundy, soundy, sound. Any sound? <clears throat> oh, is it back? Start sportsing. It's not sportsing, it's sporting. Come on, guys. <clears throat> There's me. I want to figure out how to get to uh, my live feed on my iPad YouTube gaming app. It's absolutely a terrible app. I don't even know how to get to my own live feed. I think I have to search for myself. There we go. Yep, that worked. Yay, now I can chat and type on the iPad if I want. So I can monitor chat while I work on this sound issue. So there should be no sound coming from the game. Ooh, and a lot of static.
All right, has the sound gotten better? Static issue gotten better? Yeah, it seems like there's no more static, but there is a uh, no sound from the game, and there was, and there should be. Apologies on that. I think I can fix that. I think I can fix that. Let's see, yeah, I mean, fix that. Let's see. Any sound? Name. Oh, this is the worst. Sound. Sorry, guys. I don't know where the uh, the game audio has gone. Oh. All right. I get, I'm gonna fix this. Give me a second. I I, I got this. No. That sound? Game sound? Game sound? Game capture. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop this stream. Can't figure out where the sound went. Oh, I... There is sound. Should come out of that. That should be a sound right there. You know, I've come to realize it's not just the stream. Uh, the game itself is not making sound. So this might be a game problem. Let's uh, get out of this game and reopen it. That's what I get for playing weird games like this. So open it, reopen it. <coughs> See if the sound stopped working. The gown, oh my god. The sound actually stopped working in the game. Kill me in my ears. Let me turn this game down. Why did I? Why did I want sound now? I think I should have not wanted sound. All 
All right. Well, first things first. Uh, turn this god awful music down. Sorry, guys. No offense. How do I share this? There we go. Twitter. I think I have tweeted it live. I noticed on my iPad the subscribe button is not coming through. I hope it is on the real app. Here we go. I don't know uh, what the heck I am doing on this weird game. Hi, sidewalk closed. We are going to... Uh, do some sporting. I don't know why. It's because I'm a glutton for punishment. I've had some trouble because I couldn't make the sound work for the longest time. Only for it to uh, <laughs> turn out that it was the actual game and not uh, my feed. actually trying to find my live feed so I can talk to you. I'm going to search it on YouTube Gaming so I can find myself. There I am. Game mode, sports match, huh? Okay. Select up to five sports. Uh, ball toss. Cappy throw. Unfortunate name, Cappy. River dodge. Pillow push. 100 meter dash. No. That's five? I think I chose five. I don't know. All right. Oh, here I am. Now I can see my feed. Three watching. Hey, guys. I'm still chasing my 1,000 subscribers, and I don't know if this is the game to help me get there. Why can't I find an Italian flag or an American flag? I don't want to play any of these flags. But I, I guess that's me. I was choosing the person too, not just the flag, huh? Oh boy, this is going to be a popular, popular stream. I can see it now. This game isn't even in YouTube's database. YouTube is horrible lately with getting games in their database. I mean, it's crazy. Even Pokemon Quest is not showing up in their database. So here we go. Press A to decide the angle and power and mine the wind. You guys want my face? Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Sorry my face is so big. Hi guys. Here we go, ready? Oh yeah, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> Holy crap! Wait, is that good? It threw it over the wall. Yeah, this is new. It's on Steam and it... I think it came out on Switch this past Thursday. I requested a key um, for for it and um, for Switch. And uh, what happens is apparently Nintendo is really stingy when it comes to keys. A lot of these companies get very few keys for Switch. So if you request a Switch version, sometimes they get denied. But, um, you know, if I was to have requested a PS4 version or a Steam version, I would have gotten accepted. So a lot of times what I do now is uh, I request multiple versions and I hope I get the Switch version, but at least I don't get completely denied. So that's what happened is, uh, unfortunately, I got the Steam version, not the Switch version. But I mean, it's the same game. <laughs> I, I just can't even believe it's even on Switch. I think over the wall is a foul. So you don't want it over the wall. You want it... Uh, a lot of ways, key mailer, uh, terminals, and sometimes I just go straight to the company and, and ask them. Usually there's a, if you go to their websites, there is a, a section somewhere for press where you can get a press contact. And uh, 
A lot of times Twitter is a good source to find that press contact. Most of these companies have somebody handling a specific email. It's like PR at something. I do that, but Keymailer is a great place to go. And Terminals is a great place to go, but uh, keep that to yourself. We don't like to share our inside secrets with everybody under the sun, you know? Trade secrets. Meanwhile, I just said this on a live stream video. <laughs> Oops. My bad. So what I get? Nine points? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, here we go. Cappy throw. <laughs> oh boy. Press and hold to grab leash. Spin to build speed and then release A to throw. What? I'm so confused. Oh, oh, this is like, um, uh, discus or hammer throw? Or what's the one with the ball on the chain? Is that hammer throw? No, that's something else. Oh, yeah. Damn, what's the name of the sport with the ball on the chain? I can't believe I can't think of this. It's not hammer throw, is it? Yeah, hammer throw. Shot puts the one where you push. Hammer throws the one you spin. Kimelo is 100% legitimate. I'm there every day. Just an awful lot of crap on there, unfortunately. Yeah, hammer throw. All right, so I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. I do have a. Xbox One controller, but it just feels like a cheap toy compared to 360. Sony and Microsoft, man, I don't know what the heck happened this this generation, but they just all went, took a step backwards, rehashed their same consoles without the magic. All right, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my God, I'm controlling him. Well, that's a nice throw, isn't it? If I could list this game and say I'm playing this game on YouTube, have it show up in the database when people search and what's live now, that would help. Yeah, I have like a ton of them. They're just all over my house. Uh, such a sturdy, you know, just a solid controller. They're like indestructible, you know? And works so perfectly. Most of these developers on PC, you know, program their games specifically for it. So why not use it? Just makes sense. And uh, it's just one of the one of the greatest controllers ever made. It really is. Supreme Court sides with Baker who refused to mail. Oh, good, awesome. Okay, um, dodge obstacles by switching lane with left and right. Yeah, it, it, it's just one of the one of the best controllers ever released for any platform. The only one that comes close to it is Nintendo. Nintendo's been making a great pro controller for years. And uh, they're really only getting the credit now um, with the uh, Switch version, which is just fantastic. Uh, PS4 controller is just, uh, it's the same controller it's been for since PS1, which is really lame. All I've done is added a couple different buttons, you know? And uh, it's just too small, it cramps my hand. At least they fixed the triggers a little bit on PS4. The PS3 triggers were like sloped downward. Your finger would slip off them. Hated it. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. Yeah, the Wii U Pro Controller is great. Um, even the Wii Pro Controller was great, believe it or not. And the Wii U Pro Controller is even better. It just didn't get credit. People acted like it didn't even exist. You know, it's crazy. They were just like... It's like they didn't even know it was a thing. <laughs> and now I'm happy with Switch. They made the Pro Controller prominent from day one. They were like, yes, you know, this is a controller. Here it is. It's real. And somehow, finally, people understood that, you know, you, you don't have to play with the little Joy-Cons, a.k.a. the new Wiimote. They finally understood that, yes, there is a real Pro Controller and it's, you know, part of the system. How have you never played Switch? It's the greatest console of all time, period. I mean, there's just no doubt at this point. This controller is God. 
and uh, I honestly, uh, my PS4 collects dust. I've just sat. I haven't done anything. Recently, I've been playing a little bit of Fortnite on it. Oh, dude, I am poor as fuck, too. You have no idea. Um, if that's why, then, yeah, I totally feel you, my brother. Um, I spent the year prior to Switch going to thrift stores and Salvation Army and Goodwill and Restore and garage sales uh, several times a week, every week without fail, and finding things I could buy and then sell on eBay. And uh, I, I raised enough money to buy two Switch at launch with that. And I used that to launch my channel and go all in on Switch because I just knew it was a special opportunity to get started with something that was new and, and going to be really big and hot. So, uh, very excited. And it went on. Honestly, I was nervous because, like, I love Nintendo, but I'm poor. I don't, you know, I can't buy $60, $50 games. That's why I'm a computer player. I love, I live on Steam. Steam games are so much more affordable, and there's so many different places that sell keys and have, you know, different ways you can buy keys. So, the same game on Steam will cost $5. That costs $20 on a console. It's silly. So my Wii U, as much as I loved it, it just sits around collecting dust and never touched a damn thing, you know? Same with my other consoles, PS3 and Xbox. They just kind of sat around. I didn't have money for games. And I was afraid when I got my Switch, that's what was going to happen too. It was just going to sit around. I was never going to touch it again. But wrong. I'd say 98% of all my gaming since the Switch came out has been on Switch. They've really just... It's such a home run. I love being able to take it with me because I'm able to review and cover more games. Because I just pick it up and walk away. You know, so it's always with me. I'm, I can tinker with a game during dinner. Tinker with a game at Dunkin' Donuts. Tinker with a game while I wait to pick up my kids from school. You know, uh, tinker, it's, it's crazy. Tinker with a game in the bathroom. I'm like, for real. And the pricing and the sales have been, have been good. A lot of indie games. Some games do cost a little more than they are on Steam still, and I'm like, gee, you know, I, I don't want to pay more just because. But when it's like that same game on my PlayStation, you know, like my PlayStation's sitting right here next to my computer. So why would I get it on my PlayStation if I can get it on my computer? They're both sitting right here anyway. But my Switch, you know, my Switch is in my pocket. I'm more than happy to pay a couple more dollars to have it on this. This is insane. I'm going to take this and walk out the door. My computer and my PlayStation have to stay here. So it, it, for once, there's something that even if the game costs a few bucks more, it's worth it. Uh, hey, Empire, not much. Just showing some love to my Switch. Kind of went on an accidental tangent there. Welcome. Yeah, I think that's what they're going for, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of developers these days have come to re realize, or should I say remember that they're really the first generation of gamers are 40 years old now. You know, guys like me. And we're still playing. So they're, they're making games that tickle our nostalgia button a little bit. And uh, I'm down with that, you know? I don't know what I think of this. It's my first time playing it. I kind of liked that ball toss and this cappy throw. Random sport, random sport, random sport. <laughs> I just want to do like an exhibition. I don't want to have to pick five sports, but whatever. That's cool. Yeah, laptops are nice. It's still not the same, but it does help. I love the fact that I could take my laptop and go somewhere like a hotel or something. Or uh, anywhere, honestly. And just install Steam on it and download my Steam games and play. Steam is really the greatest gaming platform th that there is. And Switch is the greatest console of all time, period. So, it's a great time to be a gamer. Alright, here we go. We're gonna try this. What's up, Emperor? So, the goal is to hit the 40 without going over the wall. That's the goal. <clears throat> but I absolutely love the fact that cool games like this are coming out for Switch. This is the first time ever that you can play games that cost, you know, two, four, six, or ten dollars on a brand new platform. You know, and they don't suck. They're fun. It used to be in the past. I mean, Genesis, Super NES, GameCube, you name it. Every game was 50, 60 bucks. Every game. 
There was no such thing as these $5 and $10 indie games. So now I have like 70 games on my Switch. I have 70 games on my Switch. And it's amazing how many of them cost less than $15. And I love them. They're good. Right? I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing. I wanted the Switch version of this, but they gave me the Steam version. So right now I'm playing the Steam version. But I mean, it's going to be the same experience on Switch. This ball throwing one has a, a bit of an addicting quality to it. I can't... <laughs> I don't know. I just keep wanting to like better my score. I want to hit that... Oh, look. After I hit the 40, I guess an 80 was added. Is that what happened? Because now there's an 80. Buckets! <gasps> there's a lot of little hidden content here. Yeah, man. Just start, you know... Look around your house. It's amazing what you can sell on eBay. Look around your house and see what you can get let go of. Even ten dollars, you know, items that sell for ten dollars. Um, it adds up. You know, ten, ten, ten. If you can sell something for ten dollars, uh, twenty times, that's two hundred bucks. Ten times, that's a hundred bucks. Think about that. You know, it, it really adds up quick. So let go of some stuff. Um, dude, I've been hooked on Pokemon Quest. I can't even tell you why. I've got so many hours in Pokemon Quest already. It's just such a great game to just like, you know, sit at the table and prop up your Switch and tinker with. It's 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 not a great game by any stretch, but for some reason I'm playing it. And uh, Let Go looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, this game is is uh, is this Hammer Throw with some kind of parachuting guinea pig, I guess. Three watchers. I wonder who you guys are. Is it just you two or someone else? I never know if it's counting me. Unfortunately, if I want to get people to really watch my stream and subscribe and add me as friends and grow my network, I have to play Fortnite or Splatoon. I'm just... Oh. <laughs> yeah, Quest is fun, man. It's not good by any stretch, but it's free. And uh, I've got like 15 hours in. I haven't spent even a single dollar, you know what I'm saying? So, what can I say? It just has this addictive property to it that you just keep wanting to kind of try to get to that next oh, section. I couldn't let him drift too far off. I would lose him. This game is really interesting. There's a lot of strategy in, involved in, in doing good at these sports. Reminds me of Super Monkey Ball 2. It had a, a mini game called Monkey Target. In my opinion, one of the best multiplayer games of all time is Monkey Target. You just roll a ball down a ramp and you jump and you open your ball and you float or land on targets. But the gameplay is so dynamic. Like, there's so much strategy involved in scoring that couch co op, four guys on a couch, it's as good as it gets. Yeah, we're not going to discuss piracy, though, okay? It's like the first rule of Fight Club, you know? What's the first rule of Fight Club? <laughs> it's okay, I'm busting. But yeah, I, I just don't do it. Uh, I don't do it. Right. Thank you, Sidewalk. Don't talk about Fight Club. Um, yeah, you know, uh, that's how I've built my channel, honestly, is playing uh, just tons and tons and tons of smaller games and indie games and whatnot and helping people doing how-tos and first plays and just helping people get an idea of uh, what all these different weirdo games are like, you know? But uh, unfortunately, things were just... Uh, even though my watch time... It was through has, has always been really high. My watch time and views has always been really high. Like, I crush YouTube's monetization limit for watch time. My subs have been going way too slowly. Uh, way too slowly. And unfortunately, I lost my partnership on uh, three different channels because of that. All of which, by the way, made the requirement for watch time. So people are watching my stuff but not subbing. Uh, point being, this is why I've gone into live streaming. And biting the bullet and checking out things like Fortnite and whatnot because if I 
have to do what people want. I have to do what's going to make people subscribe and make people watch. And uh, if people want to play Fortnite with me, then I guess I'm going to have to do it. What the heck am I even doing here? I don't know what's going on. Like, see, I'm playing this right now. Just, no one's watching and not many people are talking. No one's sending me friend requests. But if I uh, was playing Splatoon right now, I'd be getting friend requests like crazy and tons of people dropping in. If I was playing Fortnite right now, same. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, buddy. Um, this is the Steam version. Uh, unfortunately, Nintendo, you know, can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I love Nintendo. They're the greatest developer and publisher and hardware maker of all time on the planet, period, forever the end. But they're, you know, they're notoriously uh, challenging, I guess, different. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but they, they don't give a lot of keys, apparently, for Switch versions to developers. So developers are always short on keys, and they're always very, very picky about giving them out, or they just flat out run out and can't give you one. So a lot of times, if I want a Switch version, they'll say, sorry, we just don't have enough, but we have 9 billion Steam keys for you, or like 9 zillion PS4 keys. Would you want one of those? So I, I get that. So I got the Steam version when I wanted the Switch version. But it's the same game. <laughs> Hi, Chair Bear, by the way. I, I gotta admit, um, it's a lot better than I thought. So we're playing basically a... a 182nd basketball game of one-on-one. -on -one. There's a lot of little intricacy to the, the game so far that I've tried. A lot of strategy involved, a lot of little detail. I like the one with the ball throwing. I really want to kind of get better at that. That can make for some seriously fun couch co-op with a bunch of friends who have it mastered. This one, I don't know. I haven't scored a goal yet. And I, I don't know how to. I think I just kind of... Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Why are people watching me play this? <laughs> By the way, I am so tired today. I haven't been sleeping well. And today is an early morning because I take my kids to school in the mornings. And I, I take one early. I drive home. I immediately pick up the other and take her back to the same town to the school across the street. It's so frustrating. And I, I, I drag all day. And I'll be working till about 8.30 today. I work on this my channel for the first, like half or three quarters of the day then I'll work on my personal training business after that train some clients till nighttime it is tiring I, I you know two bratty teenagers who don't talk don't smile they're just miserable and nasty gotta make sure they have food and everything I never eat anything I just take care of them by the time I get home like you know I just want to go back to bed and I like, take a nap but if I do that you know, the, the time just disappears. I lose the day. It's crazy. So here I am, half asleep with well, you guys. How the hell do you score in this thing? <gasps> Thought I had that. Parenting is tough stuff. I still want a third kid. I'm not happy with only two. But uh, I kind of want one with a mom. I do it all myself. I haven't had a good, a good experience with women in my life. All right. Um... I cannot score. I don't know what the trick is. I'd like to work on that. Hey guys, any new viewers today should click the subscribe button. Today's pretty lady in the bottom right hand corner there has the subscribe button next to her. Bonus points when people can tell me who she is. I have uh, a 13 and a 14 year old. The 14 year old's just about to turn 15 in July. Girls. On my own. It's, uh, it's a, and they're not nice. Um, they're cold and mean and hurtful to me. 
and they ignore me completely. They don't speak or smile or converse or, or anything. <laughs> I took them to Deadpool too yesterday. It was my third time going because I tried three times and they refused to go with me the first two. I finally got them to go and they uh, just stone-faced the whole time, wouldn't say anything. And on my home, I just asked my daughter if she would just talk to me a little bit. You know, a little conversation about the movie or something. She said, what's the point? Why would we talk if there's nothing to talk about? I'm like, we just saw a movie for two and a half hours. A hilarious movie. How is there nothing to talk about? The theater had that awesome new Jurassic World uh, promo, you know? It's a big, giant... I mean, it's a massive T-Rex. And I wanted them to go look at it with me, and they refused. She said, it's a dinosaur. Like, so that's my kids. They're like the most unfun children on planet Earth. Which is bizarre, because I'm like the coolest, most fun dad, like, ever. Uh, anyone know what I'm doing other than sucking hard here? Hey, by the way, how's the sound? Am I too loud? Am I too close to the mic? Does the game sound too low? I don't know. I never know. Getting sound right really blows. I'm using a mic that's like 15 years old, but I love it. Alternate A and B to run. Oh, no. Don't make me button mash. This is old school here. <laughs> Ooh. The only problem with live streaming, guys, like, I've been doing it the past couple of weeks, like, last two weeks now. Thank you, man. I've been doing it more. I mean, I tried once a while back, I didn't. And, uh, you know, it didn't go so hot. I quit on it, and now I'm back doing it again. But, like, I can't make my normal videos. There's just not enough hours in the day. Like, I used to cover several videos a day, doing, like, first looks, and then first 20 minutes, and then maybe complete playthroughs of levels, FAQs and whatnot. Oh, man. Now I don't have... The, why am I falling? Now I don't have the time to make those videos. So I don't know if that's going to hurt my channel or not. Because that's what all my people kind of said to me to begin with for... And I'm not giving them that anymore lately. I just haven't had the time. I stopped the live feed. I mean, they're kind of worn out. Or, um, I'm just out of time. I'm not somebody who can play games for hours at a time. I'm someone who'd rather be outside. You know, I love my games. I love video games. But I don't like staring at a screen for long periods of time. I need to break and go outside and do something else. <clears throat> there you go. I guess I could... Yeah, at some point, I need to come up with a schedule to fit streaming and pre-record it into my, into my plan. If I'm going to stick to streaming, I guess, that is. I guess the weird thing is that, I don't know, maybe I'm just too old, but I don't understand why people want to watch as it is. Like, why people even watch my stuff. I get it when I'm making a video, like, showing them how to play stuff and how to do things, but... Why do people hang out with me and play games? I don't know. Oh, see, they left already. Now there's only three. I guess they don't. But yeah, my subs have been going up uh, a ton. Why do you do a, a Twitch over YouTube? Just curious. I've. Ooh, what's Super Sports Match? Sports Match and Super Sports Match. Twitch is so confusing to me. I've been to Twitch a couple of times, and, like, I'm a Twitch Prime member, but, like, I don't touch it. I've never watched anyone stream on it before. I've actually never watched anybody stream ever, anywhere. But I've I've never streamed or done anything on Twitch because I've gone there so many times, and it's just so confusing. Like, the affiliate, like it's just so confusing, the interface and whatnot. But you think uh, that, and I'd be starting from, like, zero. I think I have three followers on Twitch make money faster yeah it seems like that there are more ways to make money and it seems like getting an affiliate getting to affiliate is quicker and easier so but you know you just don't know which way the wind's gonna blow you know YouTube gaming is growing very very quickly but uh, twitch is is obviously also huge so I don't know if I should be streaming on both or if it's okay just chilling with YouTube I'm really not sure I don't like having all my eggs in one basket, and I'm really, you know, I will never like Google or YouTube personally as, again as a company ever after what they did um, with this partnership thing to me. 
I have a million views. I had four times the watch time required on, and I broke the watch time required on three different channels. One of them was 13 years old and they pulled my partnership. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. I get having these requirements to avoid bad eggs, but if my channels, after 13 years, without a single violation, over a million views, three channels with the required watch time, doesn't prove that I'm worthy of my partnership. I mean, I really don't know how just getting some more subscribers does. It makes no sense. I don't like this one at all, by the way, but I just did really good. I'll have to check out streaming on Twitch at some point. <laughs> and now there's like Mixer. I know Facebook's getting into it. I'm even, I'm even, a, I'm a Facebook creator. I mean, they accepted me into their creator program. But uh, I can't figure out like how you get ads on your videos. I can't figure out how to make any money. Makes no sense. Oh, well, I can turn the sound up, by the way. I, I've had a lot of issues in the past where my game sound was too loud. And you had trouble hearing me on the mic, so I guess I just have such a habit now of um, making the game sound too quiet <laughs> and making me too loud. But I'd rather you hear me, even if it's too much, than not hear me at all, because then the video is just useless. <laughs> when I record, pre-recorded, obviously, I use multiple channels for sound. That way, in post-production, I can adjust the audio of uh, the mic and the, the mic and the game. Okay, here we go. Oh, old school Mario Party hand sore. Oh no. <laughs> oh, shit. Do I wanna open the game bar? No. Yes, this is a game. Oh, I did something with the Microsoft button. Anybody know how to make that go away? Do you see it? Okay, you got it. You guys didn't see it, fortunately. So by the way, if you're new, because I keep seeing three and four watchers up and down, which means people are coming and going, please hit the subscribe button. The pretty young lady in the bottom, she's hiding the subscribe button. Hopefully she shows up. On my iPad, she does not show up. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Oh, look at that. 500? Oh, might be an achievement for that. On my iPad, um, the subscribe button's not showing up. Hopefully it does for you guys. 504, wow. No, she's there, but there's a subscribe button there. If you look on the iPad, there's no, my iPad, I go to YouTube gaming app, and I watch my own feed, there's no subscribe button. That's my girlfriend, Kathy. I took that picture at the Jersey Shore. I figured I'd use her cuteness to track my subscribe button. Unless you guys rather look at men, then I'll put a topless picture of me there instead. <laughs> You're on your phone? Is the subscribe button there? Is it in over that picture? Below. Uh, whatever. I guess as long as it's there. It's red, right? It's red and it says subscribe in white letters. I don't understand why she's fall. Why is she falling? I think she falls. I think she falls if I don't alternate. I don't know what just happened. Hello, viewers. We have four of you now, huh? That's pretty awesome. Keep having four, three, four, three, four, three. Five, don't be shy, say hello. Click the subscribe button. I think that might be what it is. I gotta do the thumb method. I gotta, you keep a stiff left thumb and, and then you rock the controller like that. That's how you get a good alternating A and B. I've done that since the NES days. It's the only way you're gonna guarantee you don't accidentally double tap. I wanna try again, but it keeps forcing me through all these other sports. Yeah, newbie, subscribe, guys. How am I gonna make my thousand and get my partnership back? Because I want the community tab and I, all, and I want super chat. But really, I think the community tab would be great and it really sucks that YouTube won't give it to us. Oh, I see, skeet shooting. 
<coughs> it really sucks that YouTube keeps all the best features to people with lots of subs. I mean, how are you going to get subs without having the same tools? And how are you going to compete without having the same tools? And how are you going to grow your channel without tools that help you grow your channel, like the Communities tab, where you can, you know, post like, like a Facebook wall almost. Did he actually eat it? Is that what just happened? He eats it. You don't actually knock him out of the sky. He eats it. That is epic. I need a Be Right Back graphic, by the way. I don't have one. I mean, I might somewhere. Pro probably on uh, Streamlabs OBS, which I haven't been using. I've been using just straight up OBS, but I might want to try the recent updates of Streamlabs OBS. Just for their cool overlays, because I suck at manual overlays with OBS. Some of these are fun, and some of these are stupid. Oh, there we go. Animal, oh, literally called Animal Feed. I think I'm going to have to throw on, like, Fortnite or Splatoon 2 to really get my feed going today. Because streaming for like three or four people. Ugh, OBS is God. OBS is king. Keep in mind, stream, you're using Streamlabs OBS. So it is OBS. They've just modified it to add their Streamlabs product to it. Only it's, you know, still a little buggy and glitchy and missing some things. Uh, OBS is just a little more straightforward, a little more easier to deal with. But uh, Streamlabs has, you know, all the overlays and stuff, which is really cool. I'll have to check it out. I have a Streamlabs. If you click on the more and look at in my little description, there's my link to my Streamlabs account. I'll have to check out Streamlabs OBS again. It looked, I mean, when I used it, it was brand new. I mean, it was brand new. And uh, it looked like uh, it had a lot of awesome potential. I don't know how to play this game at all. I don't understand this climbing one in the slightest. I don't know if I'm supposed to press the, the, the button of the next one I want to go to or the button of the one I'm on. Is it really? I mean, I mean right now I'm streaming and my system is at... 2.5 percent CPU, and I'm streaming at 4,000 KBS. So like, I don't know. I mean, I don't think taxing matters when it comes to OBS. It's such a a light program. I mean, I'm again 2.5 percent right now is what my CPU usage is. <laughs> it's with this game running. So. Obviously, this isn't the most taxing game in the world. Anybody else there who wants to talk to me? I don't bite. Speak. Speak and be heard. No, it's not. But my point is that OBS itself isn't taxing at all. Like, I'm at under 2% with a game running. So, I don't think... You need to worry if you want to run straight up OBS. It should be okay. Well, you know, they should both be okay, honestly. I guess is my point. But I have heard that one of the goals was to make the Streamlab OBS um, less taxing. Although, I just OBS just isn't taxing to begin with, so I'm not sure if that's really much of a priority. My machine isn't even very good. My machine is just slapped together poop. Oh! Man, am I bad at this. So it's two halves, right? I haven't scored yet, have I? Who's watching? Speak. Speak and be heard. Say hello. We're in the middle of a 10 game. Middle of a 10 game. Sports. Super sports matching. Thing. So it's like we're going through 10 sports. I don't like this basketball one. This basketball one is absolute crap. I like the ball throwing one a lot. 
Oh, the sound is too loud in my ears. I gotta turn it down. This game's music was ass. There's the ball. Oh, the problem is the computer is like so in your face. Like, I just can't compete against them. It's ridiculous, this guy. All he does is smash me constantly, score constantly. I'm like using this cute Korean girl. What am I supposed to do? Ooh, someone's playing Evolve too. Look at him. I mean, like, I can't even. I can't even stand up. It just punches me down. What a shame because a lot, a lot of the others, like, I don't. Is there a way to skip this sport? Because a lot of the other sports are a lot of fun, and this is this is not. The white MJ. Oh, I've learned how to punch though, so shit's about to get real now. But if you miss when you punch, you fall down. It's terrible. I can't handle a second half of this. I mean, he is, like, in my face. The meter is so slow. Ugh, the missing, the punch, making you fall really sucks. The computer never misses. Oh my god, are you kidding me with this game? What were they thinking when they made this? No one's been saying anything. No, this is the worst game ever. Not this game, but this basketball. Particular basketball sport. No, I didn't say anything to you. I'm just talking. No one's talking to me. Just sidewalk. Nobody loves me. I'm hungry and I'm cranky, by the way. I need food. I am the worst when I'm hungry. And I never have anything to eat around here. It's always just nothingness. I just feed my kids and that's about it. No one, no one feeds me. Pretty much skip breakfast and lunch every day. I know, I'm just messing, buddy. Um, thank you, by the way. I, I shit you not, I was this close to pulling my channel, deleting my YouTube, deleting my Instagram, deleting my Twitter, this website, all of it, shutting it all down. It was, it was, it was this close. Um, I'm in a do or die situation, really, so whether or not I need to the plug on this and uh, focus on something else, you know, focus on something something else that could be more successful because that's what I need in my life. And then I decided to stay with it a little longer and decided to try out some live streaming and a lot of my streams were going really poorly and just no one was watching. I was streaming for zero people all the time or one person, just you. <laughs> but uh, they started really picking up and people have been en enjoying them and Having, especially like when I play Splatoon, people are having a ball with that, so it's very exciting. And I'm gonna see how it rolls. Are you chopped liver? No. But uh, you know darn well, as well as I do, that we need a lot of support to succeed um, on Twitch or YouTube. A lot. You know, it takes just big numbers to really, truly succeed at this. And it has to be big numbers. Small little groups, you know, they're not gonna cut it. We will be uh, flipping burgers with small little groups, so hoping to just keep things growing. Like, I want this chat feed to be going so quickly I can't even keep up with it. I want people just talking, talking, talking. That's what we need. What is the secret to scoring in this game? Because I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm definitely getting better possession of the ball suddenly. So that's all I mean, you know, it's not, I never mean to insult anybody. Just, I just speak the truth. I'm a very straight talker. And the reality is we need, like a TV show, you know? A lot of loyal fans, the TV shows, they get canceled because they just need numbers. It's just how media works. Oh, man. Bummer. Sorry you had to sit through two and a half minutes of basketball. God. That was the worst. <clears throat> Oh, 
Thanks, buddy. Next time we'll play something better, because we're about to play ball hop. I have a feeling we're gonna wanna kill ourselves playing ball hop. Press A and B to explode your hop ball. Wait, what? Hold on, I'm watching the delayed feed. Hold down to charge. Release to jump. Charge during jump. Ah, okay. Did it say to explode my ball? Why would I want to explode my my ball? I did it. I exploded my ball. But why? <laughs> why did I do that? She just pumped up a new ball. This is... Oh, nice. <laughs> this is awesome. I really want to play this with other people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. I still don't understand why I want, would want to explode my ball like I just did. I need to switch version of this. This is an amazing, like, spontaneous pick-up-and-play local co-op game. I can't imagine just parking with a couple of friends and playing these little mini-games against each other. I mean, not, not all of them. Like, this one kind of sucks. But some of them are really cool. And, you know, all it takes is one or two good ones that you can master and have really tight competition on to keep you busy for hours. Again, like Super Monkey Ball 2's Monkey Target. Monkey Target alone is worth the purchase of the game. This is terrible. Never pick random because you want to choose the games you play. Some of them really suck. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with this. Yeah, um... For example, the one where you throw the ball against the wall and it has to land on the score. Imagine having four people who are really good at it. I mean, really good. Just competing. That could be amazing, or even more so. Like, I used to have eight or nine cousins that were really big into gaming, and we we all mastered Monkey Target. And every time we got together, we would pile up, because it's four players at a time, and we'd take shifts. And we'd compete at Monkey Target, and I mean, the scores were so tight. And we'd have to go make the big moves to land on the tiniest target and the strongest win and the top of the, you know, it, it was awesome. To, to this day, Monkey Target on, on Monkey Ball 2 is one of the best couch co-op multiplayer games you'll ever play. Uh, like, for example, this one, that other ball hopping crap. The basketball crap. This? Imagine four people playing this for a while. That could be fun. Here goes. <laughs> Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The walls are times two, which is interesting. So, just landing on the target's not enough. You gotta bounce off the wall. I wish it was like a plus five or something, not a times two. That pretty much makes it you have to bounce off the wall or you're gonna lose. Because the times two is just too big. It's almost as good as getting an extra turn. Oh. Okay. This might be my best my best round yet. Uh, Chair Bear, I turned on tennis. We were supposed to stream tennis. And it is, in fact, already over. I missed it. I did get my hands on it. Someone sent me a, a soccer game. It's like a beta version of a soccer game. Actually, it's an alpha, so it's not... It's alpha. So it's, it's, it's in the later stages preparing for release. And it was it's playable for three days. They sent me a key to try it. And I, it ended today. I just don't know if it's over now or it ends at the end of the day. Might want to try it. <clears throat> See, I didn't bounce off the wall, right? So I, I don't get my times too. <clears throat> yeah, tennis is over. I'm so disappointed. Oh man, I want to hit that bucket in the worst way. Oh, I was close. I was close. Nobody wants to watch me play Super Mansion today. Bummer. 
I need me new subscribers, guys. I need new. Hit the sub button, my peeps. Do it. You know you want to. It's all right. You're all subs already. Oh. Oh my. No. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Press start to support. 614 subscribers. Here's the best part. I've actually lost a subscriber today. When I started the stream, I had 615. Now I have, oh, now I have 614. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I'd love to play four player with this. I wish this had online. Oh, did she make it? She did, but she clipped her feet and didn't fall. I'm impressed. That's good programming right there for a game that's so simple. She actually clipped her feet and it animated it. It, it, it acknowledged that she clipped her feet. <laughs> but not enough that she fell. I can't believe I lost a subscriber today. Guys, we can't play Fortnite every day. You know, we gotta play different things. And I have a feeling there's some people who just don't really care to uh, watch me stream. They just want my pre-recorded stuff that I've been doing in the past. Oh no, are we sumo wrestling? We are sumo wrestling. And I did not pay attention to the controls. B to punch, A to punch, B to counter, Y to taunt. taunt. Oh, it's a pillow fight. Why would I taunt? He just clobbered me in the face while I was taunting. Did you see that? I taunted and he clobbered me in the face. Oof. Oh. Taunting. <laughs> I had a taunt. Ooh, ring out. What's B do again? Remember B does counter. Oh, so I can counter his pillow toss. Let's try it. Ready? I haven't successfully countered yet, but I want to. Oh, I won! I am the pillow fighting champion of the world. funny voices and stuff but my windows are open and they're right one is right in front and one is right next to me and I don't want my weirdo neighbors to hear me being all kinds of weird super oh, how did I do oh my god I just skipped the award ceremony after doing 10 of these things are you kidding I never want to do the sports match again I just want to uh Oh, you can add AI? Yeah, add one. I just want to pick. Oh, I can finally pick my own sport. Ball toss. Let's watch the computer play. I added one AI opponent to play against me. Mr. Neo is going to play against me in ball toss. Mine the wind. That's interesting. I have not been mining the wind at all. All right, the wind is blowing at seven to the right. Okay. Oh, we're starting with up to 40. Who goes first? If we throw at the same time? That's amazing. That would have to take turns. That would have sucked. Wow, he's throwing hard. All right, we do throw it. We, we do throw at the same time. That's interesting. All right, 10 each. That's a double. That's a double. Um... We have a ball gopher, get it? Get it, the ball gopher? All right, the wind has dropped to two, so we're gonna need more power this time. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, I wish the bucket was there. I threw it clean over the wall, that's not gonna cut it. Yeah, zero points for me. Thanks for pointing that out, gopher, I noticed.
Let's double the... Oh boy, they're doubling the scoring areas. 80. Alright, we need to hit that 80. You ready? Oh, that's way too much juice, I think. We have a 4 meter wind. 4 mile an hour wind. Oof. 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 Oh. This is why I have a computer playing. I wanted to see just how much I really suck. to hit that 80 or else I'm not going to win this. What? It went too far because it threw too high. Not enough angle. Hello guys, if there's anybody new watching, I'd love you to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. We are playing sports matching today. You just watched me get my butt kicked. Hey man, I've been playing this for a long time. Uh, no. I've been getting my ass kicked. We just switched. We just played a 10 sport Olympic Games, basically. And, uh. And uh, now I went back to, uh. To just playing like an exhibition where I can pick the sport I want to play. And I don't know how I did in the 10 sport one. I accidentally skipped the standings. When they were going to the podiums, they accidentally skipped it. Oh no, what did I do? Oh man, I messed up hard. Oh, I messed up so hard. This game is actually really cool. Um, close encounter of the sport degree. <laughs> I just got a uh, an achievement for hitting a spaceship, apparently. This is a great, like, um, pick up and play spontaneous multiplayer game for Switch. Like, I this is the Steam version, but I'm definitely getting this on my Switch. I'll pay for it. I don't care. I love... I don't like all of the games, but I love certain ones like this. This is a great way to pass time with a friend somewhere. Because you really have to master this to get good. Dave the Cow. Hey, we haven't played any um, pinball. I know I mentioned that last time. But I remember you were really good at that. I'd love to, I'd love to do some more tournaments and, and see some familiar faces take me on. I still want the Jurassic World one. I wish they'd put it on sale. Boy, did they do a nice job with the update to the app. Go. Why, why did Neo just throw it so high? Neo whooped my butt, by the way, last round. I mean, it was ugly. 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 Whooped me hard. What does Dave the Cow mean, by the way? And why is it one, two, three? Are there too many other Dave the Cows? Is there like a really a stiff competition in the Dave the Cow username department? Ninety twenty-five. I'm actually whooping Neo's butt right now. I'd love to hit that. Um, I'd love to hit that bucket, but that's just too hard. The computer is going for it, and the computer hit the UFO. I'm either doing not enough angle or too much power. I can't quite get the rebound off the wall gentle enough to hit the 80 or the 40 yet. He made a cow, he was called Dave. He was Dave the cow. That's awesome. Guys, I'm starving badly. I'll be back. I need to bounce for a snack.